everyone this tutorial is on this look right here a candidate inspired look with red and white and black ombre winged liner and a red lip but no base makeup so let's get started I'm going to start with the professional pearl primer all over my face and I'm going to put some eyebrows on and then I'll come back I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in shade Eden and a Coral Flat Cream Eyeshadow Brush and applying these to my lids. I'm going to set the primer with an eyeshadow. This is the Tart Tartlet Toasted Palette. I'm going to use the shade S'more right here. Now I'm going to use this next crease brush and from the same Tarte palette I'm going to use the shade called Latte. I'm just going to buff this lightly into the crease to give a little bit of definition. Now I'm going to take the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in shade Vivid Fire and the L'Oreal Paris Luminous Liner in black. I'm just going to sketch out the tip of the eyeliner with black and then use red on both eyes. Okay, well, oh well. Now using this e.l.f. concealer brush and NYX 
glitter primer. I'm going to apply this along where I put that red eyeliner, pack it on, and blend it in with the black part of the wing. And now quickly where'd I put it? Oh boy. I don't know where I put the palette I was gonna use. I just had it. Oh, it's right here. And I'm gonna use the Smashbox Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette in bold and this shade right here and using the Joe Fresh liner slash brow brush to go over that glitter primer to make it a little more red. And do the same on the other eye. And I'm going to apply that glitter primer in the inner corner part and using the white shade from the shade and, Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette. So this shade, no oh, sorry, this shade right here and apply it to the inner corners with the glitter primer. I'm just wiping off that same Joe Fresh brow brush. And the same on the other eye. Now just going back in with the red from the Smashbox palette and blending it in with the white. And now take with that same Kat Von D palette, I'm going to take the black shade right here and apply it to the outer wing with the glitter primer and blend it in with the red. And on the other side too.
And then I'm just going to take that same liquid eyeliner I used earlier, the black one, and just sharpen the tips up a little bit. have so far. Moving on to highlighter, I'm going to start with this dual ended little contour brush and the Benefit What's Up uh, cream highlighter. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my inner corners. Oh, a little bit here. I'm just going to be using this as a base for the highlighter to make it a little even more blinding. This has got to be my favorite part for sure. Now using the Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade right here called Luna and my Cover FX Foundation Brush. I'm just going to apply this to the same areas where I put the cream highlighter. Also going to apply this to my brow bone and inner corners with a small Urban Decay Detail Smudge Brush. I'm also going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit with shade Forever Lit and a little bit of Kitty Cat. Now I'm going to do mascara, and I am going to use uh, the Total Temptation by Maybelline in black. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just set my face. I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. I'm back with lashes. These are the Glam Chic Joe Fresh Full Lashes. Now I'm going to use a little bit of a black pencil, just a line, tight line here, and then we'll move on to putting mascara on lower lashes and lips. This is the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster, Ooh La La Eyes Trio, and this is the pencil one in black.
Now I'm just going to use the Revlon uh, Volume Plus Length Magnified in Black on my lower lashes. And a little bit of a white on my waterline. This is the NYX Full White and Linen. Now for lips. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Lip Stena Lip Paint in Uncensored. I'm going to take this brush and just clean up the sides a little bit. It's really runny. So this is the completed look.